Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm Abu Toba, I'm here at Eddie's, and I'm gonna give him a whooping he never is gonna forget. You watch him show him some things. Where's he at? He's hiding from me. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. We have an exciting show for you today. It's very difficult a lot of times. The rat race of life. You got so many things distracting you. People calling you to go to the nightclubs. You got promiscuity all over the place. But you know what? There's something missing in your life. You don't have peace. You don't have contentment. The dollar's not giving it to you. You're running from boy to boy, girl to girl. You know, you're just dating and all this other stuff. But, you know, something is there in your heart and you want to change. You know that, look, there's no other than the one God. The one God who created this whole universe and everything in it. And he's got a system, a plan. But you away from the game plan because there's a lot of distractions. We're going to be talking about some of these distractions and how you can get more serious because death is a reality. We're all going to die. It can happen today. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen after the show is finished. So we really have to take the matter seriously, but we know it's difficult. It's a jihad. It's a struggle to be good, to develop yourself, to be the best human being. So we're going to get some advice from our next guest, Sheikh Abu Toba. Sit tight. We'll be right back. This is the team. This is the Dean Show. 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 Assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, thank you very much for finding time to be with us here on The Dean Show. People go pleasure. to thedeanshow.com to read a little bit about you and to see some of the other shows that we've done with you. We're wasting no time. Time is short. Time is short and the matter is serious. You know, we get a lot of emails and, and, and people want to change. You know, they watch some of the shows and they come from other ways of life and they see these things, you know, they don't make sense. God being a man... Trinity three in one, someone dying from them sins, God committing suicide, you know, or they feel like, you know what, I, I didn't believe in God, but my na nature is telling me there is a God, but, you know, w when, when the going gets tough, then they get going, but then when the, the new girlfriend pops up, or they get invited to the party, and they start to talk about these serious things, not the cool thing, money, fast cars, distractions. So we want to help to give some encouragement you know, how can people really take this matter seriously and to get on the ball? Because Islam is something rational, it's logical. If you take the time, you'll see that this can come from no other than the creator of the heavens and the earth. And some people have even acknowledged this, but they're having a hard time submitting and doing all the good things that God Almighty has told them to do because they got other things on their mind. The guy can't let go of the girl, the girl can't let go of the guy. They don't want to get married, they're doing it test drive style. So how can we give some real advice? Talk to us, talk to us, please. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I was listening to you, and it's Barakallah Fikum. You have a good description of what's going on out there. But the person first should be patient with himself, you know, and we should be patient with each other. Allah's Messenger says, Ma min abdin mu'minin illa walahu dhamb. There is not a believing slave except that he commits a sin. Time after time again. Or he commits a particular sin and he never stops doing that sin until he leaves this dunya. The fact of the matter is that Allah created man sinful and forgetful. When he's reminded, he remembers. And this is in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I am making in the earth a khalifa. A deputy. The angel said, Are you going to put something in the earth? You're going to put someone in the earth who's going to cause corruption and spill blood? So the, the intrinsic nature of man is to be mistaken and cause corruption and do things wrong. So when he realizes that, when he's reminded though, he remembers you know, and that's what we have to first and foremost understand that we will fail. 
When we take shahada, we say, I swear, in a children's poem ch uh, called Children's Fiqh, it says, I swear to do Allah's command and not to do one thing haram. That's what we say in the poem, teaching the children how to, you know, understand their, their fiqh. And that's what everybody says. I swear to do Allah's command and not to do one thing haram. But when I fail, I will repent. Before I get a punishment from up above Allah most high before my soul is caused to die. So the th first thing that we tell the individual is that you will make mistakes. As a human, you're going to make mistakes. However, don't be wrong and strong. Repent. As soon as you realize you're making a mistake, turn to Allah and repent. Don't be like those people saying, no, it's not halal to say, I will repent. Maybe one day, for those who think like that, will find the devil has possessed his mind. He plans to drop his soul in hell, turn to Allah to break his spell, say astaghfirullah wa atubu ilay. That's all the Muslim has to say. So I'm not going to approach it first by saying you're not going to do any wrong. You're going to do wrong. You're going to fall victim to your ego and your desires sometime. So since that's the case, have we been left like that? No. We've been taught how to respond when we made a mistake, and that's through repentance. Repent to Allah and astaghfirullah. I seek the forgiveness of Allah. Wa atubu ilay. And I turn back to Allah and recognize that I am the slave of Allah. Because that's, that's, that's the original thing, that we recognize that we're the slaves of Allah. We're not talking about someone who doesn't know this. We're talking about someone who knows this. So this is the case. We have to repent. And after we recognize that, that we're going to fail and that we're going to repent, but we just need the reminder and that the reminder benefits in the uh, dhikr al mu'minin, that the reminder benefits the believers, then we do what the advice of the Prophet said. He said, be around those who make you shy. Okay? Stick with those people that make you feel shy to do those things. Why don't you go and make you know, zina with your girlfriend on the mimbar. Because you know that the people are going to stop you physically. So then you need, to, if you're feeling these feelings, and these are not unnatural feelings, you know, then you need to stick and be around those people that are going to make you feel shy. And we can talk further about other things that people can do to distract them from these distractions. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, al takathur you know, getting a lot of things, accomplishing a lot of things, distracts us. Yeah. Until we visit the graves. So, you know, the way that we people are distracted, look at the beautiful skyline. This is a whole real, and it'll distract us going out to this place and going out to that place. But we play a role in our own destruction because we are attracted to these things. And these things keep us from focusing on the real deal. What's the real deal? The real deal is that we are living in a temporary situation that eventually is going to end. And then the real situation, the long lasting situation is going to become our reality. And, and so we're not told to live and not have fun. There are lots of things we can have fun with, but we're only been told to stay away from those things that's going to harm us in this world and in the hereafter. So these things like someone equate like haram are harmful things, things Everything. that are prohibited and that's God's law because God knows best, Allah knows best, is that right? Right. So these things are bad for us anyway, like, you know, okay, you have a natural desire to want to be with a man, a woman want to be, a man want to be with a woman and a woman want to be with a man, but not outside of marriage. So if right. you have this, this, this desire, it's not something unnatural, but now to go and sleep around with someone who's not your wife or your husband, you don't want to do that? Listen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Zuyina lin nasi hubbu shahawati min an nisa. Allah says that He made men desire women and made women desirous, and men want and, and, and lust after these women. You know? However, so the desire for a man to be with a woman and a woman to be with a man is in the Quran. Yeah. So it's a natural desire, a lawful desire. However, you're not supposed to fulfill that desire except through certain ways. Like you're hungry, right? Yeah. You don't eat with your foot. You don't stick it in your ear or in your eye or up your nose because it doesn't help that way. Yeah. You put it in your mouth and you chew it and you cook the food before you eat it. 
You have to marry the lady before you can be with her. And she has to marry the man before they can be together. Otherwise, you're going to get sick. Just like if you eat the raw meat and the raw food without cooking it or cleaning it and doing the things that are supposed to be done before you eat. We can understand that. We need to understand it in the uh, metaphysical world as well. Yeah. You know? let's, let's take a break. We'll be right back with more here on The Dean Show. I just want to say very simple message. Is the maintainer, One of the, is the beautiful preserver, things about our religion of Islam is the, is the emphasis the on direct ritual and prayer to God directly. Is the there is no intermediary. The lights will go on after the party and the party will end. It's very simple and very clear. There are no superstitious rituals, no strange incantations. It's Time is running out. We might not make it till tomorrow. And this is something that we need to think about. Back here on The Dean Show, and we're talking to Sheikh Abu Toba, and living in the real world, we got real situations, tough, you got a lot of fitna, a lot of trials, a lot of tests, you got a lot of things tantalizing you, calling you, and it's like sometimes you're burning up inside, and so we want to give some, 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 some good advice. So you mentioned marriage, get married if you're feeling this. Now, could someone, you mentioned how merciful, Al Wadud, the loving God that we worship. You know, Allah, He's most merciful and there's always hope. You started off with that. Can someone use that as an excuse when they know that fornication, adultery, this is something that <coughs> is not acceptable in Islam. It's a major sin. But could someone use that now? They know that and then they go commit the crime and they're saying in their head, well, God's most merciful. He'll forgive me because He's full of rahmah. He's full of mercy. And then they go and do that, continue to do it, not lowering their gaze and then acting upon these desires. What do you got to say about that? Okay, what I say about this is that as Muslims, we have to recognize and understand the purpose of life. The purpose of life, Allah said that I have not created the genies or the humans for any other purpose except for to worship me, right? Then after that, Allah tells us the story of, the, of Adam and the shaitan and how the shaitan is jealous big jealous of the human being that he was given this position that the human really doesn't understand how he got it. And Shaitan feels he deserves it more. So then Allah says, He says, I am testing you. So then we realize, we have to understand that we're here to worship Allah, that this whole life is just a test. Allah says, Ahasib an nasa an yutraku an yakulu amena wa hum la yuftanun. Allah says, uh, the, Does man think he's going to be left alone on just his statement that he believes in Allah and he's not going to be tested? Allah said, We have tested those that came before and we're going to make it clear those people who are truthful to their pledge, their oath, and those who are liars, you know, and they're not going to be truthful. So, that's the, the one aspect of it that you can't, you're not going to get away with saying, okay, Allah is merciful, but he's testing you. And if you fail the test, then you open yourself up to the punishment or the, 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 the results of failing the test. And you're being tested daily. And he told us how? By, by your desires. Okay? So you repent to Allah and you try and strive your best to move forward. You know, as we said again in the children's poem, Repentance will not be correct until I'm sad and feel regret for what I've done and I declare not to do that sin again. Repentance will not be correct until I'm sad and feel regret for what I've done and I declare not to do that sin again. And if still sinning, I must stop all sinful deeds right on the spot. You know, and so that's, that's the, 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 the conditions that a person has to have for um, making repentance. But let's look at it another angle, okay? We don't want to just be, you know, responsive. We want to be proactive. Islam does not say you can't get married. Islam does not say you can't like girls and you can't have fun. You want a woman? Go get married. That's a protection for you, you know? Get married. Allah's Messenger pro promoted it. Get married and have lots of children. This is the thing. And, and, you know, if you strive, of course, the man has to be able to take care of his family. There's other, other things he can do, too, with his time. The Quran is the most important book in the world. We say, you know, uh, 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 the, the, most, uh, Muhammad. the most important and the best speech is the speech of Allah in the Quran. So 
anything you want to learn is in the Quran. Instead of watching a 30 minute sitcom where you, you know, it's corny, you know what's going to happen. It's basically wasting your time and distracting you. You can sit down for that 30 minutes and memorize three lines or five lines of Quran. And that will not only help you in this world, protect you from what's going on, it's a lot of fun because you, now you know something that you didn't know before and it'll be something that you can use in hereafter. Also, you can learn how to fight. A lot of guys, nowadays, you know, you have the MMA, you know, the, what is it, Mili Muslim? M mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts, you know. So you can get involved in some sports? Not just think, sports, yeah. but positive sports. Yeah. You know, just going out, and I'm not saying basketball is bad, but if someone jumps out to beat you up, especially nowadays with all the Islamic phobia and everything like that, you, you want to get a wife, you better learn how to protect your wife. You know, you want to be Muslim, you better know how to fight. And the Prophet Sallallahu he promoted us learning how to fight and how to defend ourselves. Not to be bullies, but so not to get bullied. There's a lot of bullies, so we don't want to get bullied. Right. So hands up, you have no right to touch me and now you have a right to defend yourself. It's right. a God-given right. It is a God-given right and it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun for brothers to learn how to wrestle and even sisters to learn how to fight and protect themselves. We hear about things, girls getting their chimas pulled off and they can know how to protect themselves just so they can get away. We're not promoting yeah. women fighting guys yeah. in the street or anything like that. So, so this would be something where now you can do something positive. You can positive. get involved in, okay, the study circles, be around, like you said, righteous people, people who make you feel shy. Go feed then, people. There's the ways to Allah are many. Yeah. A guy came to Imam Malik. And he said, you know what, you run your mouth too much. And Imam Malik was a famous scholar. He said, you talk too much, Imam Malik. You're always giving classes and sometimes you're wrong. You come back and you change your decision. And Imam Malik responded saying, the ways to Allah are many. Sirat al-Mustaqim is wide and smooth. Some people get there by fasting. Some people get there by giving charity. Some people get there by cleaning the masjid. Some people get there by doing all this. There's so many different things, by offering salah. You know, some people go there by teaching. And I'm pleased with the way that Allah made easy for me. So I'm suggesting to young people and old people and people in general, you can learn how to fight. You know, and if you don't like fighting, then you can go out and get some food. You like cooking and go give food to the poor. You, you mean, know? yeah, so you can feed the poor. You mean fighting like martial art? I mean martial arts. Like, like a self-defense? <laughs> right, like yeah. martial arts. You know, yeah. You, like, like I, I know martial arts. I, I heard you know martial arts, but I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we. Yeah, I, I like to see it for myself, you know. I like to take you down. In fact, I challenge you. Oh, really? I challenge you right now. Let's go and fight. So we can see who's the best right here. Oh, you know? so we got a challenge. The challenge. I'm dropping the gauntlet. Hey, your martial arts is no good. You must be so ready to die. We're going to have to take a break and see uh, what uh, corresponds from here. We're going to have to maybe uh, Right take now the on the Dean Show. We're going to have some fun. More fun. Abu Toba. And uh, sit tight and for uh, the upcoming challenge. You stay tuned. 18-inch biceps. We'll see what happens to Eddie on the Dean Show. <laughs> on the outside, everything looks good. You see the $100,000 cars. You see a lot of diamonds. You see a lot of females. And they think that this is, you know, this is a life. This is, this is like, you know, paradise right here on Earth. It's not anyone's job to go into someone's heart and change their heart. Your job is to tell people what the truth is. And the reality of it is, while we're sitting here, while I'm sitting here constantly paying for the disease, the cure was free. When Eddie gets here, I'm gonna kick him with his head. Beatboxing, man. What, you make all those sounds with your mouth? Yeah. Do another one for me. Let me try something. I'm a Muslim boy, I got MB printed on my ring, I sing for my Muslim boys, and my sisters doing their thing for the sake of him, Allah, when I'm in need of anything, I turn to him, Allah, success is what he brings, oh, Muslim boy, I got MB printed on my ring, I sing for my Muslim boys, and my sisters doing their thing for the sake of him, Allah, when I'm in need of anything, I turn to him, Allah, success is what he brings, oh, Muslim Bilal from South London, they don't even know what it means, it's too real for them, I'm a 
put it on them thick for a reason They need to start thanking the laugh for the air they're breathing Don't diss me back, that's a waste of time I'm already submitting, I'm already on a straight line I'm already repenting for spitting foul lines Already planning to quit rapping, bro, I got mine Don't worry about me, worry about you I'm in the last army, you're still in a little crew You signed to record labels, I signed to Allah I'm worshipping God, you're still worshipping your car Bro, I'm a Muslim, you don't know what you are Just a lost clown on the road, trying to be a star Screaming out real talk in a little boy's game You need to get serious, start using your brain Don't wanna hear about your life, how you're grooving all your pain How you draw your four or five, cock it back and let it rain I don't know that before, bro, it's time for something new I know you guide the youth just like I'm guiding you Muslim boy, I got MB printed on my Let's see what he does when he's grabbing from behind. Muslim boys, and my sisters doing their thing for the sake of him. Allah, when I'm in need of anything, I turn to him. Allah, so what would you do? I cut this knot to them. So now, this is the guard position. Stop all the talking. So now I have all my. My four limbs, and from here I can snap the arm. Arm lock, very nice. What if he goes like this? From here, I can also lock a triangle. And from here, suffocate the guy. You alright? Yeah, I love you, brother. Yeah. But I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Tune in every week for the Dean Show with Eddie. <laughs> Back here on the Dean Show. So what'd you think? Did you did you have a good time? Was it fun? Oh man, alhamdulillah, barakallah fikum. I had a yep. great time. Alhamdulillah. I was going easy on you though because I didn't want to, you know, embarrass you on your own show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, barakallah fikum. I had a great time. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And that's, I hope that the people get to see everything, all the fun that we had and the things they can do. And I hope people come and learn. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we got to work up a sweat. You know, you burn some calories, you get in shape, and some of this negative energy, frustrations, you know, out there, you get to let it out in a positive way. Nah, I'm alhamdulillah. Yeah, and alhamdulillah. you learn how to defend yourself. Mashallah. Yeah, so I this is something. I learned how to defend myself. <laughs> yeah, so you, I mean, you've been doing martial arts for, for a long time now. Uh, you're also, a, you know, a black belt, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So people can now do Islam, do God's thing, Call it, you know, submit to the one God, and it's not boring, is it? Well, Islam is a complete religion. Complete. You know, complete religion, and that's the thing, a way of life, I should say. You know, it is the religion of Abraham. We express ourselves in our way of life as the, the, the deen of Islam, submission, total submission. And if somebody wants to know, what do you mean by the religion of Ibrahim? The religion of Abraham is hunafa, uprightness. So we're upright individuals, staying on Sirat the Mustaqim and practicing our way of life of Islam, submitting totally to Allah. And Allah's Messenger taught us that the only reason He came so that we can perfect our character. You know, so like I said, I had a great time. I, I appreciate. I, I, I like I, to come back I, anytime I, you like. I, me. I really, uh, you know, I had a great time. We'd love to have you back. Before we we close up, just a couple more points. So you mentioned Islam, and is this true that that's how when you do this submission? Is that the only way that you can truly have peace? Not because people confuse now, you know, a good time. They might have a good time, some fun at the nightclub, but then they go home crying because they got used and abused or, you know, they spent all their money and now they got a hangover and they still ain't feeling that peace in their heart. Is peace now by doing this complete adherence, submission to God's will, not your desires? Right. Alhamdulillah. I wish we have hope of time to finish this. Just Islam briefly. is submission. The shaitan, he tricks the people in saying, do whatever you want and you'll find, you'll be fulfilled. People want to get high, yeah. okay? That high, that euphoria that they feel through submitting to Allah. But it's not to be found. So they play the music, they dance, everybody looks all happy and everything, yeah. but they're really not happy. You know, the guy drinks the beer, the one guy who sued the company in Texas, he said, I drank the beer, it made my breath stink, it made me sick, and I didn't get any girls. Good case. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lie. But this is the same thing with Shaitan. He's a great advertiser, but he never fulfills on it. The only way you will find true peace in the word Islam does not mean peace. It means submission, surrender. Surrender your ego. Surrender your right to your own decision to do whatever you want and do what Allah has decided for you to do. And then through that route of submission, you will find peace. Peace. Then you got the peace. Right. So it's acquired peace, acquired by submission. the submission to the one God, not your desire. Don't just do it. 
Don't just do it. Do what Allah wants you to do. And it's not Burger King, have it your way. No. It's God's way. You got to <laughs> do it good. God's way, isn't Mashallah. it? MashaAllah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we covered a lot and we showed that one avenue of having fun. You study, you want to be the best doctor, the best lawyer, whatever it is. And now you, 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 you study the Quran, the verbatim word of God, but we can have some fun. We showed one way, get involved in the martial arts. Learn how right. to defend yourself. And that's not a waste of time, is it? Can that no, also be an act of worship? It is an act of worship. Yeah. You know, the thing with an intention, a normal mundane act becomes an act of worship yeah okay so walking if you're walking to the masjid because your intention is to go to the masjid it becomes a good act and an act of worship so when you're defending yourself and you're learning you're doing these things practicing so you can defend yourself and protect your family from harm this becomes an act of worship we gave one example and I'm sure there's uh, some other things that we could talk about we're out of time Mashallah. thank you may God Almighty the Creator Allah reward you thank, thank you. you I mean we're good Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And we started with peace. We end with peace. And remember what we said. What we said, look, you're not going to get peace by going to the nightclub. Paycheck to paycheck, paycheck, chasing the dollar, chasing the material world. Have this world in your hand, not in your heart. Because when it's time to say bye-bye, when it's in your hand, you can just let it go. But if you've attached yourself and it's deep down in your heart and that's all you're focused on is cash money, cash money, club, club party party at the end you're going to lose this world and you're going to lose the hereafter and you're going to die in a bad state in a state where your lord's not pleased with you because you didn't prepare you chased your lusts and desires your whole life and you didn't take life seriously you didn't truly find out what the purpose of life is and then you didn't live it you lived according to your desires and you didn't live according to god's will islam submission to the one god and that's how you have peace that's how you have peace, worshiping the owner of peace and not his creation. We'll see you next time, God willing. Until then, peace be unto you. I seek refuge with Allah. I seek refuge with Allah. Have mercy on us. Obey your Lord, submit to him. Avoid the danger of the major sins. Obey your Lord, repent to Him, avoid the danger of the major sins. Obey your Lord, surrender to Him, avoid the danger of the major sins. Obey your Lord, submit to Him, avoid the danger of the major sins. Stay away, stay away, ignore the whispers, O oh Lord. Have mercy on our souls. Stay away. Ignore the whispers. Oh Lord, oh Lord, have mercy on our souls. Avoid the footsteps of Shaitan, who's plotting, scheming 24 7. Trickery, deception, falsehood, lies. Anything to keep you in the firing line. He'll tell you anything. You have to pray as if everything depends on Allah, and it does. But you must work as if everything depends on you, and it doesn't. That's my point. You see what I'm saying? Man? And I don't like that. I don't like us sitting here. What are you waiting for? What are we waiting for right now? What are we waiting for all these people to come to Islam? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for right now? When they're going to come? They're going to come, Allah going to bring these people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, put in our hand the ability to do it. Now do your job. I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid to stand alone. If a lies by my side, I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid to stand alone. If a lies by my side, I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid to stand alone. If a lies by my side, I am not afraid to stand alone.